Well, Mark, I know you always have the urge to want to jump back into these drills, but beyond whatever you may be feeling like you could still pull off, it is game week, it is the start of the season, and I know for a long part of your life, it has been a very special week. It is, it is a special week for me. You know, it's, it's game week, as you mentioned. You know, this team, you know, is gonna board a plane on Friday, you know, go to Maryland, and you know, we kick off the season on the Big Ten Network against a, a very good, you know, high quality team in the University of Maryland. And, you know, to see the, the progress of, you know, this, this roster, you know, and the change from this roster from last year, it goes back from, you know, the, the individuals that came in during, mid, during the mid-year. Uh, you go through spring football, you know, obviously through summer workouts, and then now you're here with camp. And, and, and camp ends with opportunity for, you know, these young men to compete on the national stage. So, you know, I get the goosebumps. It's exciting. You know, please take back me having the urge to get out there. No, no more urge to get out there. But uh, I think you, know, you could still run some pass looking, routes. Look, looking forward to the season. Looking yeah. forward to the season. So you talked about it, and, and we've talked a lot about it with Coach Linquist, how things have changed in the world of college athletics and transition and new players and turnover has become more of the norm than it ever has before. It ever More than it ever has in your very long career as a player and administrator. So how have you wrapped your heads uh, head around some of the expectations, some of the discussions, some of what is different than it used to be? Well, first and foremost, as I tell all of our coaches, not just Coach Linquist, but all of our coaches, we have to embrace where we are right now. Uh, the current landscape that we're in with the transfer portal, with uh, NIL, you know, all these are, we look at as opportunities for us. Uh, you know, you can't shy away, you, you can't be, you know, regretful that, you know, there's an opportunity that, you know, young men and women might make a decision that, you know, involves them going someplace else. That's going to happen. That's that's the the lives that we live in today, and that's the world that we live in. I should say today. So, you know, for us to have you know a roster that has been recalibrated, so to speak, with us being able to take advantage of the transfer portal, and for us to be able to bring in, you know, student athletes that were at the Power Five level or the Group of Five level, or being able to look at the transfers from the junior college ranks, and again peppering in, you know, freshmen. We still need that that pipeline for all of our sports to bring in, you know. Highly, uh, highly skilled uh, student athletes at the at the high school level. So, you know, we have to adjust and we have to be able to say, hey, why not Buffalo and be able to bring talented student athletes here to Buffalo for us to be able to have impact in terms of how we compete. So while that part of it may not be normal, what is normal is just the day-to-day -day life. We have finally, I think, moved in your world and the college athletics world beyond the COVID year. So how good does it feel to have some normalcy in the way that you operate on a daily basis? Well, it goes back to move-in day for us. Move-in day here at UB where we had the opportunity for, you know, our football program, our, our volleyball and soccer program to, to be able to help, you know, all the, the, the young students who are coming in their first time at UB, trying to get situated, trying to get settled, but for us to be able to give a helping hand for, the, for those folks, because we didn't have the opportunity to do that the last couple of years. And then when you look at just the energy level of campus, you know, being able to see, you know, people wandering around. I'm, I'm telling people, you know, how to get to a certain building or how to get to a certain classroom. You know, it's, it's good to see that. It's good to see parking lots full. It's good to see, you know, Starbucks or Tim Hortons have a line <laughs> where you're not accustomed to, you know, anymore. So, you know, for us to have that energy is, is exciting. Uh, you know, people are excited about the Bulls. Uh, we had a welcome back opportunity for all of our student athletes uh, this past Sunday where it, it was good to see them you know, be amongst each other, uh, you know, obviously recognizing them in front of their peers, the, our letter award winners, uh, get that nice, sweet, you know, letter jacket, you know, in front of everybody, not just in front of your team. And, and being able to hear a message from, you know, Dr. Tripathi, you know, myself to really kick off the season. So again, it's here. Uh, we're excited, you know, not only just game week, but we even talk about our other fall sports as well. Yeah, I was going to say, volleyball and football may have been moving in. Women's soccer is moving up. They're off to a great start. So that's your in to talk a little bit about that team and the other things that are going on here athletically beyond football right now. Yeah, I, I tell you what, so proud of our soccer program. It's early on, but, you know, just the consistency we've had with our soccer program, you know, starting the season, um, you know, 2-0 and and then going to the third-ranked, you know, team in the nation in Rutgers, you know, this was a Final Four team, you know, last year and, and, and really going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, up 1-0 at halftime, end up, you know, losing 2-1, to one, but, you know, I'm proud of their efforts. Uh, they, they turn around and, you know, the rest of their non-conference season before they go into conference season. So, you know what, excited about that program. You look at volleyball, they hosted their uh, their Buffalo invite, you know, this past uh, weekend where, you know, they went 2-1, and one. they lost they lost one uh, one of their matches so close. But, but again, when you look at, you know, the talent, 
level of that program. You know, you talk about the transfer portal, you know, where there's a, you know, a couple of our student athletes that, you know, came from uh, other programs that are, are making an immediate impact, you know, for us. And then you have cross country that's going to start off as well. Let's not forget about cross country starting off uh, this weekend as well. So, you know, a lot of activity, a lot going on, and, and it's good to see again, you know, a sense of normalcy, by, but we're still also being, you know, very cautious of what's out there as well. Yeah. And You'll get a chance, uh, adding to the normalcy, it, to see all the fans come back for the home opener uh, on the 10th of September, 6 o'clock against Holy Cross. Not that they weren't back here last year, but I know a big part of what you like to do is interact with the fans, walk around the stadium. So what are we going to see at the home opener? How excited are you to be able to see everyone? In yeah, a very, very weeks? excited. I mean, it's going to start. You know, more so the tailgates, uh, you know, people see me out to the random tailgates. People see me out at Stampede Square, you know, as well, just being engaged, being excited about, the about you know, people having an opportunity to come to UB Stadium and experience football. So September 10th, Holy Cross, 6 o'clock game. You know, tickets are still available. Um, you know, we're making that push with our students on campus. Uh, if you remember last year, if you recall last year, it was a great turnout by our students. They're excited about it. So, you know, we need the same effort, same energy, you know, from our from our alumni, from our fans as, as well. So can't wait for September 10th, but we'll take them one game at a time. Yeah, and we can't wait for Saturday, September 3rd, when these guys open up their season at Maryland, a noon kickoff. We'll have the radio call on 1520 AM. You'll be able to see it on the Big Ten Network. Mark, looking forward to seeing you down in Maryland. Looking forward to getting the season started. Yeah, hey, likewise, always good seeing you. Look forward to seeing more of you. And, again, keep doing that homework, too. You know, there's a lot of I'm new trying. faces on this team. But you know what? As our fans will find out quickly, you know, there's there's some names that they're going to have to get to know. Yeah, all of us are going to have to get to know them because they're going to be real fun players to watch. Mark, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Appreciate it.